What's nice about this spot, the tree is right behind me. I got shade all day and a bench. Beautiful calm day. Got my rock spike with my rod set up. Now you have to be careful um, casting over here, basically because of the, these, this giant tree behind me. So what I do is I step off to the right or the left of the tree so I can clear my line. Okay, today I'm using the, my blue prototype rods for the white custom series, uh, 13, 3, and 14, 2. And they're in uh, rock spikes. Both have uh, the new Sedros 8000 spinner reels with 50 pound test line on it. So uh, that's my rigs for today. Okay, over here I don't have to throw out too far. Now there is a ledge over here that's about, goes out about 15 feet from the rocks, drops down to uh, 15 to 20 feet. So you don't want to make it too short either because your main line will hit that, it's gonna scuff it up. So I'm using my longer 14-2 uh, surf rod, got my 8,000 sedros. I'm only using a three ounce um, lead. Yeah, I'm getting cheap, I'm tired of losing the four, it's costly. And then I got my leader here. It's a 40 pound test leader with the uh, um, uh, four rod ring hook mustad. And I got a piece of squid on this one. Oh, and I'm gonna keep my drag loose on this one. The reason, not loose, loose, but a little on the loose side. The reason being is because um, I'm gonna have it in a rock spike. I don't want the act, rock spike actually to pop out by accident, but I always put a safety cord so I make sure that's not gonna happen. Okay, gonna throw out my second one here. This is a 13 footer. Now the, other, the hook on the other one was a ringed hook. It was a three yacht, it was a Shaughnessy uh, three yacht ring hook. This is Opihi meat I have on this one. The other one was uh, Ika squid. Now this one here is the uh, live bait ring hook. And this is also a three yacht. So um, we'll see which one hits first. Always keep your net and pliers, especially long handed pliers at the ready especially where you are at. Also, as you notice, I use two bells. This one puts out a lighter ring tone. That one, a, a different cowbell type of sound. So this way, I, can, I know which rod to go to without even having to look at it. Today was a king's tide. I never expected any strikes. Just going through the motions of bait casting dead baits. This is off Sand Island of downtown Honolulu, Hawaii. What I consider easy to do and enjoy isn't easy for the beginners. Most local anglers are experts in uh, casting dead baits, which is known as dunking. Everyone has their own style, but the fundamentals are still the same. I find it easier to answer these questions uh, from beginners by producing videos rather than answering the same questions repeatedly to individuals. So this way, um, it's, this may be boring to the, the average dunker here in Hawaii that short cast, but for the beginners, this is just a quick look at how I do it. And you don't have to do it exactly. You can take pieces you like, don't use the pieces you don't like. So hopefully this will help the beginners in basic short casting dead baits. Thank you.